What is this? It's a list of things I need to go through with you guys, the parents, my daughter and her husband, before I can take care of my grandson by myself. There's like 20 things on this list. You don't need to treat me like a, a sitter and give me the whole what to do and what not to do spiel. I raised you, young lady, and you turned out okay. At least I think you did. And what is this? It's a gas passer, a butt whistle. If he has gas or if he's constipated, I'm supposed to put this thing where? Where? And if I hear it whistle, I better make certain that I have a diaper there to catch it because the dam is going to break wide open. Am I being punked? Is there a camera somewhere around here? Okay, now I'm, I'm afraid to ask, what is this? What do I use this for? It's a butt spatula. I use it to apply diaper cream to his little baby butt. Can't I just use my finger? That's why God gave me fingers. You don't want me to scratch his delicate baby butt with a fingernail accidentally. Okay, butt spatula it is. Okay, so I swaddle him when I lay him down for naps and at bedtime. Lots of Velcro. How does this one work? I don't understand. Gosh, you're wrapping him up awfully tight. He looks like a, he looks like a baby burrito. No, actually he looks like he's wearing a baby straight jacket. And he likes this? How long do I have to practice swaddling this teddy bear before I can actually swaddle my grandson? What is that sound? That's a sound machine and I'm supposed to turn it on anytime he comes in here in his crib to sleep. Is this opposite day around here or what? Don't you want it to be nice and quiet when he goes to sleep? That sound mimics the sound he heard when he was in the womb, but he's not in the womb anymore. Don't you think that after listening to that for nine long months, he'd want to have a little peace and quiet now? And this is, wait, wait, let me guess. Let me see if I can figure it out. I got nothing. It's a shusher. Oh, now this I like. If my grandson is anything like his mother, this will prove to be a really good investment. Well, it's definitely reassuring to see that height chairs haven't changed. And the last thing on this list is baby led weaning. What is that? You want me to let him feed himself? He's only seven months old. Aren't you going to do what I did? Give him that tasteless rice cereal and then, then that nasty jarred food that makes you want to gag? You're not going to do that. Wait, it also says here that I'm supposed to let him play with his food? Really? Let him play with his food? Are you just doing this because I didn't let you play with your food when you were a little one? So this, this playing with the food thing has nothing to do with you and me. You're not working out some issue here that you had in your childhood. You want him to explore food so he establishes a healthy attitude with it. It's amazing we survived as a species. I really should have signed up for that grandparents class.